Hello, it's Chris for Chris 62, your gaming gentleman, member of the official We Game Here and Association with Extreme Xbox Gamers. Now, I'm very excited for a multitude of reasons. Number one, I'm excited to be back at showing off some of the Xbox news and gaming topics. Number two, as you may have noticed, it was my birthday, uh, so I stopped, just took a break for a bit and enjoyed myself. And I just want to say a massive thank you to all the people who have, you know, wished me happy birthday. Uh, we've got Wingy Gaming. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, we've got my partner in crime, Bidru111 Bowen. Uh, we've got Stefan. We've got Micro. We've got uh, my partner in for Call of Duty, uh, Corey Maxi. We've got Thomas Pelton from Admin for Extreme Xbox Gamers. And uh, loads of other people. I think Malcolm Powell and Seen, seen someone. Uh, but so many other people. And sorry if I've forgotten your name. I know I should have made the list, uh, but unfortunately I was too wasted. I mean, uh, what was that? Right, swiftly moving on. Now, I recently just logged into YouTube and I've seen so many gaming news and announcements of you guys. And uh, there's two news in particular that got me really excited. The first one is that Phil Spencer, head of Xbox, has teased that original Xbox games may be backwards compatible with the Xbox One as well as the 360 titles and that this may also be already in development or in the pipeline. Now this has got me very excited. Now we know at E3 we were shown backwards compatibility for the first time. People blew up, people were very excited and we can now play great titles such as Mass Effect and Gears of War and so many great titles coming in the future and for when November, when it releases for the public. So it's really exciting and uh, it's just great. When I play the 360 games, it's such convenience. Uh, playing, playing a 360 games and having a chat to your friends at the same time with the pause and resu resume feature and the ability to snap and record it's just fantastic and it's just brilliant but something is great is that original xbox games and if they do make it way to the xbox one that would be great for many gamers now here's the thing i have actually kept hold of three original xbox one time xbox titles and don't get me confused <laughs> the first game is gta san andreas a fantastic game that still lives up it's just it was one of the games that totally revolutionized what open world really meant it was fantastic not only was it a gta you know step uh, beyond it was just fantastic and i loved that and I cannot wait to play that again. There's Destroy All Humans 1 and 2, which is my, my, one of my favorite games. It's where this alien lands on Earth and, and he just wants to find his uh, brother and, and in the meantime he's uncovering Area 51 and, and so many great things and you can destroy buildings with a UFO and it was just so much fun and it was one of my favourite games of all time. Unfortunately the studio I think it left so they, they didn't make any uh, more since uh, Path of Huron uh, but it was just fantastic and I cannot wait to play that again. Now I have kept hold of these original Xbox, uh, Xbox games and I don't even own own an original Xbox. I sold that a previous years back and the reason being when I went and first ever brought the Xbox One in March I did have a slight feeling that backwards compatibility might just happen even though it was years ahead. The news has just made me thrill to bits and just made my birthday even more special. Now the reason being we all have our favourite games on our consoles and the original Xbox it was my favourites were the Destroy Humans franchise and GTA San Andreas. They were absolutely fantastic. Uh, we have special games on the 360, Assassin's Creed 2 uh, and Modern Warfare 1 and some, some other great games. 
and uh, for the Xbox One we don't know yet because the console cycle hasn't finished uh, but when it does we'll have our favourite games what we played and some even may have their list already even though the console hasn't finished yet and it's just really fantastic isn't it and uh, I was really excited if this news does happen. The next bit of news is that Phil Spencer had tweeted out that more backwards compatibility game news will be coming soon. So more backwards compatible titles will be announced. Now I have a feeling that Red Dead Redemption might be playable next week for preview program members. And I really hope this is the case because I have it on the left hand side ready to put in the Xbox One, ready to play with friends and it's going to be really exciting. This is one of the most requested uh, games for backwards compatible as well as, you know, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and Red Dead Redemption is right underneath that. So it's very much heavily requested and a lot of people are going to be very happy when they announce this. They're going to announce it. I have a very special feeling. Uh, also, we've got Gears of War Ultimate Edition where that is going to come with Gears of War 1 on 360, Gears of War 2, uh, Gears of War 3 and Judgment as well as the revamped Gears of War. Uh, so that's going to be very exciting as well. So I'm not sure if you have to pre-order to get those titles or if you if you just get the digital version or the physical version. I'm not quite sure. But in any case, it's going to be very exciting. So the final bit of news is actually gaming news. For fans of GTA 5, the Rockstar editor is coming very soon. So this is going to be very exciting. For those out there going to create awesome montages, great clips, and you can change the camera, change the uh, the color and slow down time speed up time and it's just really nice i'm very excited about this because um i love editing and i love taking photos and and doing all that um halo forge mode and, and some great things i love it when games allow you to customize levels or to edit things i really like that and um yeah i'm very excited about that so thanks very much for watching uh, that's all i've got uh, it's really nice to be back from a brilliant birthday and thank you all for the lovely messages that i was received so thanks very much for watching and i'll see you the gaming gentleman in my next video